I have these Converse here, these All-Star Converse. They, these are my niece's Converse, and when I saw that she had these, I had to take them home and show you two versions of how to embroider on Converse. So this one, we're gonna embroider on fast frames. This is a sparkly. Um, sparkly Converse right here and the first thing that we're gonna have to do because we can't obviously monogram on top of the tag is we're gonna have to take it off so I use a razor blade this one is a tulip pink razor blade it's like a scalpel it's really sharp I actually use this one now more often than my seam ripper and look at look at the curve it's just perfect for go slipping in behind the threads and just pulling it and it gives such a good uh, rip on your seams I love it so it doesn't matter you can start front or back but because the back they used uh, black bobbin thread I'll go to the front so you can actually see more clearly But I just start at the bottom, and you can take the first few stitches out from the tag itself. But once I do that, I take my, I kind of peel it up, and I take the blade as close to the tag and the shoe as possible, and just kind of slice it off. Come here, Caitlin. Okay, my daughter has little bumps on her tongue today, which make her a little cranky. So we're waiting to go to the doctor's office and see what's going on with her. But if you hear her whining in the background, that is because she's uncomfortable. Okay, and just pull. Converse are so cute with monograms on them. I actually did a monogram event for Dillard's for their Converse for the shoe department and it was such a big hit. It was a lot of fun. So once that thread is, once you have that cut out, like cut off, you can actually turn it over and pull it from the back. Okay, go into the bathroom and brush your teeth. Okay, go to the bathroom and brush your teeth. Okay, see how that looks now? Okay. It actually doesn't take too long. Um, when I was doing the event though, I had one person removing tags, another person putting, putting um, the shoe on the frame and the, the fast frame, and then I would embroider so it's just like a, a nice little conveyor belt <laughs> of work. Okay, so that is all there is to it. It's really simple. Usually I would take these shoelaces out completely, but my niece has them knotted where they can't slip out. So uh, yeah, see, great, old, great knot right there. So that is all there is to that shoe and then I'll do the same on this side and I will come back with putting it on your fast frame and how to get it onto your machine, okay? Okay, I am back with the really fun glittery shoes and these are Converse, they are name brand and I, I love that the tongue can come completely out. Well, I say completely out, but it it can come out quite a ways for me to get it on my embroidery machine. So that is what I'm going to do now. I'm going to show you how to do that using da -da -da -da, fast frames like I always do. All right, I'm going to put this down, mark it. And then I will cut it. 
So, I usually do, I can normally get, if I'm doing a bunch of these, like I said at the very beginning, I did an embroidery event for Dillard's on their Converse shoes for the shoe department, and I was able to use my sticky back stabilizer quite a few times by patching it before I had to throw it away and uh, get more. So it is, it's, it goes quite a way. So don't, don't feel like you have to throw it away just because it's used. Okay, obviously I wanna point out that it doesn't go all the way to the end. I'm not worried about that because what I'm going to do here is place my, my position finder and then I will position it somewhat up here where it, it, this part doesn't really matter. So I fold it in half, fold the tongue in half, give it a good press and you can mark this if you want to, but I find that the press is, is just as good. Okay, so there it's marked. I'll zoom in for us. Okay, now on this part, I actually measure just a few centimeters down and I'll get my, oop, get that out. So my design is going to be one inch and I am using the Empire font. It's one inch tall. So when I put my measuring tape down, I actually go about, like this is a square, a square inch, so you can kind of gauge it. Normally what I do is I measure um, an inch and a half down and that becomes my center piece right there. And you want to make sure that you get it pretty close to the center just because you want both of the shoes to match, okay? So be thoughtful of that. You want it to match. You want to take your time with it. So an inch and a half down for your center. And then it's going to put the middle initial right in the center of this piece. And then I'm going to put the tongue down. I do give it a good press and then I test it out to make sure that it's going to hold in the machine. And the reason why I put it sideways is because I think I'm running out of space. Not sure what's happening on my screen. <laughs> Um, I put it sideways is so that it has room to move in my embroidery machine. All right, here is what the shoe looks like on the embroidery machine. As you can see, the tongue is sideways so the shoe can hang off. Otherwise, it will hit the bobbin and um, the back of the shoe is black, so I'm actually gonna change the bobbin thread out. I said the back of the shoe, I meant like the um, inside shoe fabric is black. So you're gonna wanna match it depending on what fabric is used. Most of them are like a tan, which white would be fine to use on that. I'm going to change my bobbin thread and get this started.
All right, guys, that is all that I have for you today. Thank you for watching my video on how to embroider on Converse shoes. It is a super fun job that we have to embroider on things that make people feel beautiful and and even teenagers love to have things monogrammed. So I hope you give this a try. And obviously showing you start to finish on the little monogram stitching out is not necessary, but I just love watching things like this stitch out on my embroidery machine. So here are a few final pictures and a few videos for you at the very end to choose to watch next. I hope you give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends across the social media sites. And if you haven't already, please join our embroidery group, subscribe, and I will catch you all in the next video. Bye.